Modern engineering students are so obsessed with getting the perfect report card and acing their exams. But if we zoom out a hole and look at the greatest engineers of all time, we see that Nikola Tesla skipped his lectures so that he could tinker and invent. We see that Leonardo da Vinci lacked formal education so he taught himself to invent the impossible. We see that Elon Musk dropped out of his PhD so that he could start companies and build technologies that no one dared to try. Their life stories is living proof that engineers are not built by tradition, but by experimenting, building, and daring to create. Therefore, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't be spending majority of your time trying to perfect your report card, but rather spending your time on projects that'll actually build your engineering skills. Now you gotta define which type of projects you're gonna make. And the way that you're gonna do this is to define your dream career. Now you might be asking me, what is my dream career gonna be composed of? Two things, your industry that you wanna work for and the role that you wanna work. So let's start off by looking at the industry. And I'm gonna ask you one simple question to answer which type of industry you'd like to work for. What is your purpose as an engineer? Do you wanna save someone on their deathbed suffering from a tremendous disease? Maybe look into the medical field. Do you wanna protect a dying planet that we call home? Maybe look into the sustainable energy industry. Do you want to pioneer space and support interstellar exploration? Then look into the aerospace industry. Do you wanna build beautiful buildings that hold thousands of lives every single day? Look into structural engineering. There is so much of a sense of purpose in any industry in the engineering field. So whatever you choose, I'm sure that it'll be the right one. Just call it from your heart. Now that we've got the defined industry, now define the role that you wanna work for. And I'm not talking about like, oh, mechanical engineer, oh, civil engineer, oh, electrical engineer. I'm talking about very specific roles, like project manager, like mechanical design engineer, research and design engineer, hardware engineer, things that go below the branches of just your major. So when you define these two things, your industry and your desired role, under your role, you define which skills are necessary to work in that role. And in the industry, you define what types of projects you should make. So like if you wanna work in the automotive industry, you might make stuff like gearboxes, you might make stuff like airfoils, you might make stuff like engine models. And then if your role in that position is like a mechanical design engineer, then you're gonna to wanna to develop skills like SolidWorks, develop skills like AutoCAD, develop skills like prototyping, and develop fluid mechanics skills if you wanna work in the engine specifics. When you define your dream career, everything falls into place. Because look at this thing that is from my program that I mentioned earlier. This is called the experience pyramid. Okay, it's the pyramid of experience, which shows all forms of experience that you could have as an engineer. At the top, we got the career that we just defined, our desired position and desired industry. And then below that, we got the internship. Because the internship that you get when you're in university, if it's aligned with your dream career, then it is highly likely that you're going to be working in your dream career after you graduate. But in order to get this internship, we must make projects because projects is the baseline form of all experience in engineering. So there's no better cue than now to start building. With that information, it's time to start building. And you don't even have to make any like large scale projects like Mark Rober type shit, <laughs> none of that. Because look at the projects that I made. They were really small, just use 3D printers. And you don't even have to buy a 3D printer yourself because chances are that your university has like a makerspace or some sort of program that you could use the 3D printers that the university provides. So use the tools that the university actually gives you so that you can make your personal projects. Like everything that I made was pretty much from the university. Even the software like SolidWorks was provided from the university. So let's see an example, a case study of Aaron Medina, yours truly. Okay, so Aaron Medina, he decided that his dream career was under the industry of the machinery industry, and that his desired role was a product design engineer. He looked up what a product design engineer does, and he saw skills like prototyping. He saw skills like uh, SolidWorks and skills like CAD and making drawings. And he saw that he had an opportunity to practice these skills through um, designing in SolidWorks and designing uh, 3D models 
and that he would make prototypes with a 3D printer. So he covered pretty much most of the skills necessary to be a product design engineer. Then what did Aaron do after that? He decided which projects would he actually make. So he was interested in the machinery industry, right? So he made stuff like gearboxes. He made stuff like rotary engines. He made stuff like inline three engines, gearbox driven propeller launchers, anything that required machinery principles to be built. Therefore, he showed that he had a passion for the industry of the career and he showed that he had the skills necessary for the position of product design engineering. What do you think happened when he actually made those projects and put it in his portfolio and talked about it in his resume and talked about it when he was face to face with the interviewer? He obviously got an internship that was aligned with his dream career. So by definition, if you make all of your projects in alignment with your dream career, make sure that you present all the skills necessary to be in your dream role and make sure that the projects are actually in the right genre in alignment to the industry that you want to work towards, then by definition, you should be able to pretty easily work towards your dream career on the right path. I know the pains of not getting an internship and I know the pains of not being able to develop your career like you want it to. And that's exactly why I'm making these kinds of videos to give you advice. And if you're watching this far, I'm really, I really am freaking proud of you because you're watching more engineering content away from your engineering courses unlike your other engineering students. What I call them on this channel is pretend engineers. Those people that cheat on exams, cheat on assignments, fuck around in lectures, and sometimes don't even attend lectures. Those are pretend engineers. Those are people that are not serious about engineering, but you, you're even spending your free time on engineering. Holy shit. I really, really want you to be part about my community. Link down in the description, the one that I mentioned before. It's a community and a program. And I'm trying to assemble all of the strongest minded engineers who actually want to make a difference in this world and want to make a change in this world and want to help develop humanity and want to help save humanity and want to help save this planet Earth that we call home. We're the purposeful engineers. And if you're hearing me right now and you're watching this, I can't wait to see you inside, man.